Okay, so we are here creating the Automa Blocks wheel for PLTW in Onshape. And um, my students are starting this quarter and they are kind of, this is their first Onshape assignment of the quarter. And so we're trying to do a little bit of a review and also get, you know, this part created in Onshape. So we're going to hit create and then we're going to do document. I, I don't want to show you the document structure because obviously I've got my students' names in there. And so, um, we're just going to call it the, guess what, Automoblocks wheel. Okay, so we're going to create that guy. I've already got one in there, but that was one that I did in class. So we're going to start a sketch. Again, the, first, the three steps that you got to take for creating a part in any, any CAD software is really you've got to create a sketch, some type of drawing. You need to dimension that drawing and then you need to extrude that drawing. So we're gonna start our sketch and we're gonna do it on the front view. And then that sketch is gonna be four circles and we're just gonna create four circles that have a general shape like this one, okay? So I've got my larger one, got my next one in. And I'm not I'm not dimensioning it in any any way at this point. Um, I'm just trying to make it look similar to our drawing. Okay, give it somewhat uh, proportional um, spacing to our drawing here. And then we're going to come back. So we've got our sketch, and now we've just got to dimension it. And so our dimensions here. We're going to start with this outside one, and this is going to be 0 0.050. And I'm just getting that number from right here in the drawing. I'm getting that from the 0 0.050 in the drawing. And look, it changes the shape, and that's fine. Some people freak out like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with this. It changed, it changed the shape. It didn't, um, it just shrank it down. So we're gonna zoom in on it, and then we're gonna go, and we're gonna dimension a little bit more. So from the inside circle to the next circle is 0 0.350. So we're gonna say from here to here is 0 0.350. Okay. All right, so we've got that guy in, and then we're going to go to our next one. And there's two dimensions on this this circle. There's the one that goes all the way, the diameter that's going all the way across this circle, and then there's one that's the offset for the inside circle. So I'm going to go and put the diameter, and you just put the diameter in by clicking on the circle, and then you can tell its diameter because it's got that um, circle with the line all the way through it. And this is 0.44. And again, I'm just pulling it from here. And you can see how as we constrain circles in here, they turn black, and that means that they're fully constrained, that you can't put any more constraints on them. And then we're going to do that inside one, and that inside one is the 0.05. So that offset is 0 0.05. And now we're actually ready to extrude. So again, we've done the first two steps. Step one, create your sketch. Step two, dimension it. And now we're on to step three, which is extrude. All right, so when you're extruding this one, it can get a little tricky. You just got to make sure that you are zooming in on the right part that you want to extrude. So we're highlighting this outside circle. And then we're also going to highlight that inside circle. Okay, and then the extrusion depth, if we scroll over in our directions, is 0.57. Okay. All right, and then now we're ready to do the second part. So I'm going to scroll down, and we're looking to do our pattern here. Okay, and before we do our, our pattern on that, that circle, we've actually got to, we need to borrow some geometry from the, the old the old geometry. So what we'll do is we'll create another sketch and we're going to create that sketch on the face of either the outside circle or the inside circle. It doesn't really matter which one we pick. We just want to be working in that plane. Okay. And so once we have that, all we've got to do is select, let's see, I believe it's here. So we're going to borrow some geometry. So if you click on the down arrow there and you scroll all the way down, we're going to say use. Okay, so we're going to use this inside one, and we're going to use that guy right there. So I clicked on this guy and this guy, and we just borrowed that geometry. And so now it just made a copy of it in the current sketch. And so now the dimensions are already done, right? So we've got those dimensions done. We don't have to actually dimension anything. Um, 
and then we can extrude. And this extrusion says, what was this extrusion? If we look at it, it says it's a distance of 0 0.05. And one of the points of this, this uh, object that we're creating is to use the um, mid-plane extrusion or the symmetric extrusion. And so for this one, we're going to do a symmetric extrusion. And we're going to say 0 0.05. And there's our third extrusion there. Okay. And so now we're going to do another sketch. And this is where we're going to start using the circular pattern tool. So we've got this. We're going to create this little kind of half moon shape here. And we're going to start another sketch. And this will actually be the last sketch that we have to create for this part. And we need to, the, when I was trying to do the, when I was trying to create this half moon and, and trim and use the trim tool, it wasn't, Onshape was not letting me do it in the same way that Autodesk had, had let me do this. So I had to, um, what I had to do is create another circle starting at the same center point, starting at the same central axis, and actually go larger, and then dimension that circle to the outside of the purple circle that's in the middle here, and make it have a zero dimension, so a zero difference. So it's copying that circle. And maybe there's a different way to do it, but this is the way that I figured out how to do it really quickly in class. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna share with you guys right now. And then we're gonna do our center point circle. And then when we put the circle that's gonna end up being this little half moon shape in there, we wanna have it constrained in two ways. One, we want it constrained so that the yellow, that big yellow circle is highlighted. And then you see that little dotted line going up and down right here. We want it constrained to be in the center of the circle on the outside circle there. So we're gonna click that guy and make another circle. All right. And so now we're actually ready to do some trimming here. So we're gonna go into our tools. Is it in here? Yep. So we're gonna click down here and we're gonna hit trim and we can trim off the extra stuff that we don't need. So we're gonna trim off this guy. We're gonna trim off that guy. Okay, and now we're actually ready to put our dimension in here. So this is this is a part that can get confusing to people um, because it says 0.25 inches here. And if you dimension the circle before you've trimmed, it will dimension it using a diameter because it's a whole circle and, and on shape dimensions an entire circle using the diameter. But now that it's an arc, it's gonna dimension it in radius, I believe. Oops. That's not what I want to send a trim tool. I believe I couldn't be wrong. Yep, see, now we've got the radius there. So it says R, so that's how we know that it's radius. So when we say 0.25 now, it's going to be a di if this was the diameter, it would be 0.5. Diameter is twice the radius. But since it's in a radius, we're using radius here. All right, so now we're actually ready to extrude. And we are almost done with this. So we're going to extrude this guy. And this one, you see how it's extruding out? We're going to say remove. And it will change the direction, and it's going to cut that little circle out. All right, so now that we've got one circle in there, we are ready to make the other four circles. And the way we'll do that is by using the circular pattern tool. So we want to let the, the shape um, be repeated so that we don't have to cop we don't have to redo all those circles again. It's not like we're gonna have to measure it out. We're gonna let the we're gonna let the software do the work. And you do that by going up to uh, the pattern tools and we're gonna say circular pattern. And we're gonna say remove and then we want to make sure and to see uh, and we want to say instead of part pattern we want to say feature pattern. Okay, so we're going to say feature pattern, and now we can actually select this feature. And so you want to make sure it has that whole U selected, so that whole outline there. And so we're going to click that guy. Okay, and then it says the axis of pattern. So the axis is where, how do you want this pattern to circle around? So how do you, do you want it to go around this circle? Do you want it to go around the circle of, that you've selected here? And in this case, you can actually select either this, the inside of this um, shaft here, or you can select the outside of your wheel. It wouldn't really matter because they both share the same axis. So we can select this guy. So I clicked on this, 
clicked on the axis of pattern, and then you click on this, and then, uh oh, we're going to say five. Uh oh, I didn't like it. Right, I'm going to start this over. I was talking a lot. Okay, so feature pattern, we're going to select our feature, axis is here, there we go. We want five of them. So it defaults to four, so make it five. After it has those five holes in there, you're going to hit OK. So I'm going to do this one more time, just because I did that really fast. So we're going to hit Circular Pattern. We're going to change it to Feature Pattern. You're going to select the feature that you want to repeat, which is the hole that we've made here. We want to select the axis that we want it to go around, which is going to be that uh, center shaft. And it defaults to four, and we want five holes. And when we put five holes in there, it will evenly space it for us. So we don't have to, we don't have to like change any dimensions. We don't have to like make sure it's in the right angle. It does it automatically for us. You hit OK. Our file's done. So if you have questions, you know, you can put it in the chat window. I mean, in the uh, in the um, comment section. Uh, if you like our video, or if you like my videos. Hit subscribe. I'll be posting more of the Audible Block series um, as we go through it in the semester. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.